Tonight we have a closer look inside the dangerous world of Mexican drug cartels from someone who knows them well. As we've reported, cartel violence is spreading into the United States. U.S. law enforcement has made the border fight a top priority. But as Terry Moran reports, in some cases, U.S. law enforcement can be a big part of the problem. Terry traveled to the center of some of the worst bloodshed, Ciudad Juarez, just across the border from El Paso. In Juarez, the Mexican army patrols the streets in a city under siege from drug cartels. More than 2,000 murders in the past 14 months, a police force racked by corruption. And while the troop surge is working, the murder rate's been cut by more than half. The killing continues. This happened within the last hour. There are two men executed on the sidewalk in this neighborhood. Two more casualties in the narco wars here. The drug wars in Juarez are fought by thousands of combatants, like the one we met last week. Did you kill people? Si. Yes. Many? Palo de madera, unos 15. At least 15. Si, pues era mi vida o la de ellos. It was my life or theirs. This man, he wanted his identity masked, told us he worked for years for the powerful Juarez cartel as a hitman and a smuggler, all with the help of corrupt U.S. law enforcement officials. You had six suitcases full of marijuana that you gave to a United States law enforcement officer? Yes, yes in his hands. He put it in his truck and he drove it to Columbus. <coughs> The drug cartels, he claimed, have many U.S. officials on the payroll. It's a system. The corrupt U.S. personnel are known to the smugglers only by number, not by name. And they make sure they are on duty when they open the border for the smugglers. If we see any other immigration officers, don't worry about it because we can just pretend that I've already detained you. U.S. officials admit corruption by the drug cartels is sharply on the rise. For them to be successful, they have to be able to get across the border and they're willing to pay a lot of money to, in order to be able to grease the skids to do that. The reason for the increase in corruption, it's getting harder to smuggle drugs because of more pressure from the Mexican government and more stringent U.S. border security. But more border agents also means more targets for bribes. And that means this war, now fought by the troops in Juarez, is a long, long way from over. Terry Moran, ABC News, Juarez.